Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Marks and this is episode 13. So the last few episodes have been kind of build heavy and pretty talk heavy as well if I'm totally honest. So um, I can't promise to not the talk heavy part but the build heavy part I'm at least going to try not to do today because there's other stuff we need to do for the server, well even though it's just me, um, it's still server. And um, it's kind of just for ease of me doing things and farms and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's a couple of big farm. Well, one big farm I need to do. A big farm I need to change because 121 broke it. And a few things I need to add around here just to uh, to flesh out the area a little bit. Um, just that won't take too long. Things like, I say won't take too long. They'll probably take a few hours. But um, like trees and things in, in certain spots, so I need a big tree there, um, some up there, maybe a couple here and other spots. And I should probably do these gardens. I mean, they're, they're kind of, if I could get up. Um, yeah, they're, they're just empty, empty grass patches, basically. Um, and that's not good. So we don't want empty grass patches. Um, won't get round to stock in the, the shops today, I don't think, because the farms kind of big um yeah my, my gold farm needs entirely rebuilding and and whatnot um and i'm honestly i'm thinking more well, one of is that right yeah one of the things i need to do is actually a bartering farm because uh, i get quite a bit of stuff from that that'll be well mainly the gravel and kind of the obsidian for something that's gonna come pretty soon actually um when we move on to the the dwarves uh, in the next few episodes which is just going to be over there um but we know we've got at least a building there and a building just off there that's going to be like the log people log people the um uh, the cabin for the the log workers um which I talked about a few episodes ago so that's all to come i need to terraform this land as well that needs all bringing up to i don't know why i'm jumping uh, it all needs bringing up to like this level ish um and then that kind of dry docky area sort of needs doing as well um so that's all kind of gonna happen we probably won't record a bunch of it because as i said we've had a few building episodes i also need to do this path ah there's a lot more to do than i thought so let's crack on probably gonna do the trees first so let's get those done and then we'll move on to some of the farmy things i guess right so the trees are done and yeah they're aside from for this weird thin one it's on oh. when you look at it front on it's not so bad when you look at it side on it, it is quite thin but oh well uh we've got mainly birches around here um quite a few new ones which i kind of designed based off stuff i was seeing on pinterest except for this one this one is one i've used like three or four times before going back to daybound season one i think was the first time i used it um and then just weird variations of oddly textured um birch trees and the odd oak so obviously the weird thin ones new don't think that one is um or that one i'm not not too sure to be honest oh no that one's new um so that one's new these ones around here i'm sorry i'm pressing shift instead of control to run um these ones around here are not new um obviously the birches also not new and then at the entrance we also have a big twisty a bob that we've used already in this world but i can't make a bunch of new trees all the time um and that's this guy because uh, i planted a big tree as you enter which yeah, i suppose the leaves if they get in people's faces it'll be fine uh still not go around to doing the path because i'm a bit slow on that side of things um i got sidetracked massively by <laughs> all this terraforming over here and of course it's raining it wouldn't be minecraft if it didn't rain during a recording so yeah it's all untextured um land i basically just 
brought up um, what was already there to kind of look as it does. There is going to be something here. Uh, I've not left it like this for no reason. It is going, going to be filled. Obviously, just have to build it yet. Um, a shipyard, basically, is, is what's going here. So we're going to have that here. And then, um, yeah, we, we need to texture all this because currently we've got like a weird hard edge all the way around here. And it is a bit strange. Um, but that's this bit done, at least. Uh, I, hopefully, we'll get the pass done before the end of the episode. I added a new trap build on the bridge only literally to let light out. We had like three random dark patches bang in the middle between each bit. So it was like one just here, uh, there and there. The stuff was amazingly spawning on it and not anywhere else that there's no darkness, that there's no light. But yeah, that's going to be it for this bit for now, because one of the main things we need to sort out in this episode, since we're doing random server stuff um, or world stuff, I guess, is through here. So we're going to come in here and we're actually, oh, right here, yeah. that portal. Uh, we're going to go along here and straight up because that's not my original goal farm. I had to spend a while building this thing. Um, it went updated to 121, my old one, which ended here. And that's not all the gold from it, some of that's from, from this guy. Um, but yeah, I had to build this. Oh my God, that's loud. Uh, music, friendlies. There we go. Yeah, I had to build this guy because um, the height level updates for stuff getting attacked ended up killing the golem that I had up there, uh, which was what was aggroing them. Well, it was what was getting me XP. So they were still coming in based off the egg that was there, but they weren't coming in and getting attacked because they killed the golem. Um, and there was not really any way to protect him that he could then still hit the Higman. So yeah, new farm got built. This is actually um, the farm that Hoodie and Magpie built. I think it's Hill Mangoes, um, but they built it on Daybound Season Two, and I essentially just took the schematic from there and rebuilt it here, um, just with more of the same pattern glass because they put a pig nose in there. It's uh, yeah, as I said, I believe it's El Mangoes. Um, honestly, I'm thinking of changing it to just a, a manual killing one. So they just drop and it's manually killed because it's not honestly the most reliable. Um, they, they lose aggro kind of quick. Uh, so unless I sit in here with a clicker to occasionally punch them, they will lose it very quickly. And somehow, um, the baby's gain, and it's not because of the walls or any or the gap. Even without the gap, baby's gain. Um, it's it's strange, and I've died a few times because of that. But it works. Um, as you saw down there, I got quite a bit of gold, which is going to get used in a project that's coming up very soon. Which, well, partly was something we're going to do today, and a project that's coming up very soon. Um, but yeah, because we've got the gold farm, I need to set up auto crafters to make it into gold blocks, which would help a lot. And on top of that, we need to set up a bartering farm. Why are they still aggroing me? So weird. Um, so yeah, we're going to set up a bartering farm now, uh, which look at them all, uh, is going to be really useful for things like obsidian, gravel, for, for concrete. I do currently have a fair bit of gravel, but not enough that, Let's see if we can get them to fall off the edge. Come on, here they come. Look at the idiots. Look at them go. Wow, they're stupid. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a bartering farm uh, to make use of the golden stuff because some of the things I can get from there are really useful, as I said. Um, and we also need to sort out our food because 
I'm getting through golden carrots pretty fast and it's a pain in the bum to buy them because I've only got two farmers so I can only buy like a stack and a half at a time and I keep running out not bothered about 12 um, so we're going to do that as well. So yeah, first things first, I think hoggling, no, tr uh, auto crafting, which I need to figure out because I have no idea how it works. Because I paid no attention to the update at all. And, and I know it's old. Um, then the trading, then the food, and then stuff and things. So I'll be back in a minute. That's a little bit different from the last time we were here because as I mentioned in the last clip, I went ahead and built um, Nem Bombs and took down El Mangos, which actually gave me some stuff left over, which was quite good. Uh, but on top of that, yeah, as you can see, pr pretty good rate. Um, it's, I've not actually run it for a long time yet. I've at the most done like 20, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, but then coming down here, we have auto crafters and these took longer than I would like to admit to actually get working and it turns out that the piece I was missing was in fact the note block. Um, so this is the one that Mumbo demonstrated in one of his videos. Um, there is a world download for it which uh, I still managed to miss the note block on but yep no mad um so yeah we've got the the craft here um a lot of these are from what i had beforehand but they are there are should i say um some in there from previously and then we've got this guy as well which um isn't 100 percent finished there's nothing in the filters there's no gold up there i've not run it yet is that now that is a number Oh, right, yeah, from name and from the name tags. Um, I was gonna say, why have I got an anvil there? So, this is Logics, Logical Geek Boys. Um, that doesn't want to be there, it actually wants to be. Hmm, I don't know if I can do this now. You know what? I'm gonna use the anvil. Um, well, there was a gap there. So it's Logical Geek Boys, uh, Iron, not Iron Farm, Piglin fa Bartering Farm. I don't know if it was his originally. I'd imagine it more than likely is, but uh, it's just a case of load gold up in there and then basically just wait for the magic to happen. I need to run it a little bit. Um, just to get a bunch of stuff in to actually go through and organize all of this. It's an absolute monster. <laughs> it took so long. Um, I, I genuinely didn't think I would um, use as much of the wood that I had stored as I did for this. Purely just hoppers and chests. Uh, no idea how it works. No idea what's what. I've not tested it, but Hey, it should be fine. I know this is books and boots. I don't know what happens to the water bottles. I don't know what happens to... Uh, they might go in that brewing stand, actually. Um, the overflow is obviously there. I don't know how that works. Uh, it's going to literally be a case of want to do it, watch it, see what happens, and see where stuff goes. And I think it's like four chests, like four wide per thing for some stuff. Which is absolute insanity. It's never going to use that much gold. And I don't have that much gold. Um, and I also need a lot of gold for where we're going next. Not in this episode, but in the world. Um, having this here means that I can more or less move straight on into that from the village. Uh, it's kind of like a stepping stone to the main area. Uh, but it does mean I need to spend a little bit of time here. But with that, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.